So in order to refurb a laptop battery, you've got to get into it without destroying it. One of the key things is if there's a big sticker on the top, remove it and then take a metal prior and pry the battery apart. Careful with the metal, you could short out the batteries on the inside. I used a second screwdriver as well. And as you can see, it bends back here. This is actually all connected on this battery. So what I had to end up doing was take a razor blade and cut the back of the battery so that the top would come off. And now you're in on the battery and now we can play with the cells. So one of the two ways right now we're gonna test and see if a pack of cells is dead is via a voltmeter test. So we check the voltage. If it's below two volts, the cell is probably pooched and not coming back. If it's above two volts, 2.5, then you're probably fine. Now, it turned out that this chip on the battery pack was cooked when I first started doing this, so I had to actually change battery pack. So the next shot has a different battery pack, but it's the same cells that have the problem. Each one of these cells can be tested via a battery resistor test, and this one comes out to 178 ohm, milliohms. Now this test isn't going to show you an exact representation of the batteries, but it's gonna give you a good idea, because this last one, as you can see, is completely out to lunch compared to the other two. So we've obviously found the two bad cells. Now, you can't rely solely on that test because the resistance check could just go through the chip on the battery instead of going through the actual battery. Now, we test a normal one outside of the battery pack and we get 150, and that one's performing well. So, we know that these two end ones are the problem. So, you'll need to replace the cells, an 18650 lithium ion battery, and these come in 2200 milliamps, is usually the common laptop battery cell amp. Hours. We start removing the batteries from the battery pack. Uh, be careful not to short out. Those white little circles are uh, insulating positive from negative. Negative is the entire outside of the battery. Positive is the little centerpiece. You want to remove these. They are spot welded to the piece of metal strip that they're attached to and you can cut yourself fairly easily on all of this. After it's been removed, straighten out the ends, flatten things out a little bit and then you can put in your new good cell. Now there is only one in which we took two out. That's fine. This is for test purposes to see if we've got this thing running right. Once you're done putting the cell in, you put the, the cover back on or you can just leave it open and stick it back in the laptop to see if the laptop recognizes it and charges it. And as you can see, we've got it in the, bat, in the laptop here and the laptop does see it and it is charging it. You only need two batteries in there if you're uh, wanting to add capacity. You can actually go back through and remove one of each of the double batteries and your battery would still function the same. It would just die quicker. Thank you for watching. For us more, hit the channel. See you next time. Ciao.